Yeah, uh, first off, give North Park a lot of credit. They are, uh, and, and I tried to impress on the team how scrappy, how tough they were. Uh, I, I told Sean, Coach Sean, uh, before the game, how impressed I was with this team and uh, how I was, I was worried about the game. And uh, they are going to win a ton of uh, games in their in their league. They just beat the team that was picked to win their league by 20, and uh, that's going to happen a lot. Um, so they jumped out 9-0. Uh, we had to try to regroup. It was a dogfight uh, the whole first half. Uh, I thought we came out in the second half with way better energy, way more respect for our opponent, and uh, and we had. You know, Ahmad's, Ahmad's dunks and Keon's offensive rebounds and threes really broke it open. And then we had really good contributions from, from a lot of guys. Elijah, Elijah Jamison was shooting the cover off of it. Um, Jalen had a great stretch. Um, so, you know, this team really keeps having different guys step up for them. You mentioned Ahmad, you know, not just the dunks, but just kind of the other things that he does shot blocking, but he altered a couple shots down in that end, had a couple of nice passes to Keon as well. Yeah. His, his game is just all about energy, isn't it? It is. It is. And that, you know, I think he was, you know, he was probably the, the big key difference in that first half and second half. I think he, you know, he came out, was kind of going through the motions and second half he was focused and, you know, changed the game. When he, when he is able to um, get you guys fired up like that, how, how big is that? Because you're, Every, every team kind of needs a heartbeat, I guess. And does yeah. he help provide that for you guys? He, he does. And, and our excitement, uh, our energy feeds off a lot of that, a lot of the dunks. Dunks and threes, you know, like any team, you, you feed off of those. And, uh, you know, bad, <laughs> bad analogy, but I watched an elf last night. And he's kind of like our, our Santa spirit that makes, <laughs> makes the sleigh go. So, you know, he got it going in the second half. You know, in the years that you've coached, and I, we, we've talked about dunkers, you know, Marquise is such an athletic guy and yeah. big body. Uh, Ahmad's got to be right up there, too, doesn't he? Just in terms oh, yeah. of, like, springiness off the floor, athleticism, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, his ability to be on the run or for the pass to be uh, in a bad spot and him to be able to adjust uh, is as good as anybody that I've coached. You know, I've had some, some guys who could bring the ball up and, and handle a little better before they dunked. But uh, on a pass, I don't know that I've had anybody that's been better than that. I don't know if there, there's many human beings better that aren't 6'11", 7 yeah. feet that, that are better than that at catching them. Yeah, I keep thinking of that alley -oop, but I think it was at Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Elijah kind of threw him that loop off balance, and he just came in almost at an angle and yeah. was able to slam it. It's, Between two guys. Yeah. That's how I used to do it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of nerf -oop. Yeah. <laughs> I um, probably can't do it on yeah, Nerfoot now. The other guy that you had mentioned for uh, you know, how they played in the second half was Keon. Yeah. It's been kind of a slow process for him. Was it nice to see him? I think 13 out of those 13 out of his 15 points were in that second half. To yeah. There. Yeah, and, and uh, even more important than just the points, the offensive rebounds, yeah. the activity. And we've been missing that, that second and third guy going to the offensive glass, which is a big part of how we want to play. And we just haven't been getting that guy to, to go. And uh, if he can give us that kind of energy, it really helps. Talent has never been a question with him, right? It's the other, no. it's the other parts of the game that we got to work yeah. on to get up to speed. And, and, you know, there's a lot of competition on this team. So yeah. you've had guys rise and fall uh, throughout, and it, and it may still occur. But, uh, you know, he is um, he's starting to really earn those minutes. BJ today was he ill? He was sick. Yeah. yeah, he's been out for his third day. So we had it. We had the some type of sickness kind of go through the team. So we didn't play Vincent today as well. Um, he's been out the last two days. So I think we're getting healthy, but uh, BJ's kind of the last one. Is, is Brian Taylor? Injured? Brian Taylor was he's sick. sick yeah. mm -hmm. So I guess these days off coming up are probably coming at a good time for you. Then. Yeah, we need them. Yeah. We need both. We need the days off, and then we need the practice. So long, long stretch of games, and you know when you play that many games, and don't have the practices or getting ready for the next game, yeah. and trying to keep their bodies right. We need some practices where we can get better. How, how will you balance that? That I think it's one game and a lot of days, something like that. So yeah, we're gonna take the next two off. Right. Yeah, and then 
and then we'll come back and compete, rev them up, and then as we get closer to the game, we'll you know start to conserve a little bit. So um, Milwaukee's a, an interesting place. Once we're through finals, we've got five weeks of no class. So um, people who have been here have told me that's been a negative in the past. So we want to flip that and try to make it a positive to where we're getting these guys better and getting our team better as we don't have academic responsibilities. Coaches are never satisfied, obviously. That's part of your job. But 12 teams and no, what do you think? I mean, do you feel relatively good about where you guys are at overall? I, I, I think uh, this team is interesting. I think we're as good as anyone, and, and uh, we can beat anyone, and especially in our league, and, uh, and we can lose to anyone. Uh, I think when we get loose, we get really loose. Um, when we're um, playing well, uh, we are really hard to handle. So uh, I think we're getting closer to having normal rotations, uh, which will help, I think, everything yeah. normal out, normalize. Um, but it's, it is going to be an interesting team through the last two months of the season. Um, but if we can continue to get better, I think by, by tournament time, we're, we're scary out for sure.